We're here at the KO Fitness Gym down in Hialeah and we're here with uh, Coach uh, Michael Rubel. He's going to explain to us all the safety precautions that his gym takes uh, mandated by Miami Day. So Coach, can you explain to us uh, what uh, entails for keeping everyone safe? Um, we're, we're following on everything. We comply with everything they're asking us to do as far as reading people's temperature, having a uh, we have a few um, hand sanitation stations, washing hands. Um, we wipe everything down after every every training session and clean and mop the gym. And also, when we comply, we have in our all our fighters come at a certain time, spread out upon that. We only have about three to four, maximum six people at a time, but we'll spread them out. We'll put some people outside, some people inside, keep them at six to even 10, 10 feet of distance. And as soon as they're done, everyone goes home and then we'll come back again, continue to clean again and have it set up for the next group that comes in. So when you say that you have, um, you're sanitizing, what are the fighters doing after exact step are, are they doing to keep everything sanitized? Uh, as soon as, soon as they're, the fighters are done, obviously they have masks and before, after they finish training, they go to the bathroom, wash their hands, wash their face and all that, continue to put on the mask, and then we go every station, every place that the fighter worked at, we go and sanitize it, and we clean it. We have um, sanitizing stations everywhere, everywhere you go, in every corner of the gym, you could get it. Um, also, again, we, we, we go on what the, the county is asking for, reading people's temperature, if it's over 100, you know, obviously you can't, can't come in. If it's under 98 regular temperature, we'll, we'll let you come in. And they're signing, we keep a log in of everyone that's going in and out of the gym. So we're presently staying at, at part of, of whatever they, they're asking us to to follow and, and, and stay so we could stay open for business. Uh, and then how often are you checking the temperatures of the fighters? I, uh, I, check, I check the temperature once they come in and once they leave. After they cool down, we, we ch double check the temperature again. How has this um, pandemic affected business routine for amateur boxing and pro boxing? How much it has affected your whole team at the KO Fitness? Well, well it's not just KO Fitness. I believe it has affected the, the whole world and the whole world of boxing. Um, as far as the pros, obviously, they can't fight. So it holds them on their we have uh, of income to maintain themselves, and then for the amateurs, um, their kids, you know, the young kids and youth and teens, they they also also on standby and suffering through the you know USA boxing and everything. You know, we can't host no shows and no competition for them. So right now they they just staying in shape, staying positive, and hoping soon they'll open up the events and have them start competing again. The pros, as you can see, we have an events with no fans and control how many bouts there is, like the one we're gonna go fight now next Tuesday and, um, in Nevada with Luis Melendez. We're gonna go out there and fight on ESPN. It'll be on, it'll be on TV at seven. But other than that, it, I believe it's affecting everyone. And then how are you keeping the morale uh, of the fighters up, you know, and trying to wait this out? How, how, how um how are you, how are you keeping everyone positive, we, keeping the morale up? We, we, we staying positive as far as um, I'm looking at it and, and my partner also, Ronel uh, Aponte Chino, also a great, um, great mentor in, in, in keeping you up and guiding you the right way to stay positive. Uh, we're just looking at it as a, we're not thinking of pat the, the pandemic, we're not thinking about what's going on. We're just using this time as it was, it was time given to us to to train, to teach them more, and keep them positive, and keep keep them keep them keep their minds stimulated, stimulate their minds to where they want to keep learning and learning. So we're taking this time as a, a more educational and technical time to teach the fighter and bond a little bit more, as far as besides training in the gym when we come. As from KO Fitness, every other gym out here in South Florida and Florida and around the world just. Let's all we just work together and stay safe and comply with, with all the rules and stuff they're asking us to do to, so we could maintain our, our facilities open and people could continue to
trying to live a normal life, if that's what you want to call it, normal back back to back to work and keeping the business. Just stay safe, stay home, um, keep your distance anywhere you go. You know, even if you have the mask, you know, respect everyone, and most of all, you know, wash your hands clearly and stay home.